Welcome to We On Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover the secret behind fighter jets' mysterious Mach numbers. From shattering the sound barrier to stealth missions at blazing speeds, discover why Mach and not MPH is the true code of the skies. You often hear figures like Mach 1.8 or Mach 3 when talking about fighter jet speeds, but what do these numbers actually signify, and why do they matter more than just quoting speed in miles per hour? From the earliest experiments breaking the sound barrier to today's stealth fighters operating at transonic speeds, Mach number has remained the universal language of high-speed flight. Its origins go back to 19th century physics, yet it still governs some of the most advanced military technology ever built. Let's look beyond the headline numbers to explore why Mach number remains at the heart of modern aerial warfare and why even the fastest jets must respect what it tells them. Mach number is a dimensionless ratio of an object's speed to the speed of sound in the surrounding medium. Named after physicist Ernst Mach, it standardizes how engineers and pilots describe velocity. Since the speed of sound varies with temperature and altitude, Mach number gives pilots a way to judge speed that accounts for these changing conditions. At sea level and 20 degrees Celsius, Mach 1 is roughly 1,235 km per hour, or 767 mph. Pilots use Mach number rather than miles per hour because indicated airspeed, or IAS, loses accuracy at high altitudes and near supersonic speeds due to compressibility effects. Mach number remains reliable since it directly relates aircraft speed to the local speed of sound. For fighter pilots, this helps in predicting aerodynamic changes, especially shock waves, that occur around Mach 1. Pilots and engineers divide speed ranges into regimes. Subsonic speeds below Mach 0.8 are free of shock waves and traditional aerodynamics are sufficient. In the transonic regime around Mach 0.8 to 1.2, a mixture of airflow types appears and the first shock waves are formed, requiring design features like swept wings and supercritical airfoils. Supersonic flight, above Mach 1.2 up to Mach 5, brings strong bow shock waves and sonic booms. In the hypersonic regime, above Mach 5, flight generates intense heat and requires specialized materials. Historically, fighter speeds have grown dramatically. During World War I, Aircraft like the Fokker D7 barely topped 135 mph. By World War II, all metal fighters reached over 450 mph. Modern jets such as the MiG-25 Foxbat can exceed Mach 3.2 or about 2,190 mph, while the fastest manned aircraft, the NASA USAF X-15, reached Mach 6.72 or 4,000 FV-120 mph. At lower speeds, air density stays roughly constant, but as aircraft approach Mach 1, compressibility causes shock waves that change lift and drag significantly. These changes can affect stability and control, which is vital for pilots during combat maneuvers. Breaking the sound barrier produces a continuous sonic boom, which can damage structures on the ground. Pilots must understand when and where sonic booms will occur. Mach number also guides weapon release timing and evasive maneuvers. Modern fighter design now weighs stealth, agility, and electronic warfare as much as speed. Still, pilots rely on Mach number to keep track of aerodynamic limits, manage energy, and plan missions. In today's aerial warfare, survival depends more on being undetected and networked than simply being the fastest but Mach number continues to play a crucial role in high-speed flight. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.